Hey, welcome back to Let's Get Dirty Garage. Uh, today, got the heater going, and uh, we're gonna try and tackle the biggest job yet. So, uh, uh, yeah, one of those. Yeah, it's just okay. So, we'll give it a shot. So, let's go ahead and let's get dirty. Is this thing on? Yeah. Well, uh, I think we're to the point where we've got to face some reality. I know we're uh, trying to keep as much original sheet metal as we can on this beast, but uh, started uh, really investigating a little bit on the, on the quarter panel here, and I think the quarter panel got whatever the back of the door got as uh, it kind of came down this side because you, know, you take a pretty good sized magnet and I mean, it, uh, it'll stay. But uh, when you put it anywhere else on the, on the beast, there's uh, not enough metal there to tell it to stay where it's supposed to. So um, I think we gotta chop this one up to once the horse is dead, you must dismount. So we are going to dig in and actually try and uh, replace this quarter so that is the cue for the world's largest cardboard box and we'll see what uh, see what kind of treasures await us in here ordered this as a uh, as a, I think it's actually called a patch panel. It's not a full quarter. Ooh, three boxes. And I may regret that later, but uh, we will uh, we'll see what, how much of that we can use. But you gotta call, uh, whew, yeah. All right, it looks like metal. so hard we'll just uh, go on to the next no looks like a, a lot of cutting trimming and and fitting and uh, we'll see how much of this can be uh, can be saved if any but um, that's what's going on there so I'm gonna do a little bit of laying out here and figure out what's got to go and then we can get to doing some sparkly wheel of terror action, do some cutting. So I think uh, I think we should be in good shape from there. Oh, Ow, that's sharp. Okay.
All right, as you can see, this uh, back corner is kind of foobarred as well. That uh, is supposed to be flat right there. Um, that's kind of why the tailgate was so tough to get off. So uh, looks like they it separated whenever it had the accident, so they booger welded a little bit back together, and we'll uh, have to do some peeling and scraping to get that back corner off and get it back in shape, and a little bit of pounding and smashing I think so we'll do some uh, do some layout and see what's uh, see what's up but I got uh, got some of those wonderful whizzer around wheelie dealy thingies to reposition the Elko in here for its major surgery so those work pretty well pretty cheap and um, can uh, wheel things around so if you don't have some of those and you're limited on space like like we are yeah, it kind of helps just kind of doing a comparison of you know where uh, where sheet metal is and isn't. Um, I think uh, they got a really round corner here, but uh, we can kind of deal with that. I think we'll uh, take this someplace down in here. It's kind of rusty down there anyway, so leave a little bit of a tab, and then um, you know we'll have to fit that somewhere along there and uh, while we're down there I'll probably uh, weld up that seam and take that out looks like we can get kind of full coverage around and underneath this backside and take some foreman where it'll be interesting is it'll be just in this back corner doesn't have any of the tucked around features that would be on a full quarter so we're gonna have to uh, have to get creative back here and see what we can come up with on salvaging what uh, what is back there but we'll try and take this feature line um, doesn't seem to be quite as deep as that but you never know what uh, what happened when it got smashed and bashed but um, and then up along this top edge does have a uh, have a roll over so I'm actually gonna cut this pretty tight up in here and uh, eventually I'm gonna pull this uh, weld flange off of here and smooth out the top of these rails anyway so that'll give us a uh, that'll give us a, a good starting point there but you know we'll get across here looks like somewhere in here's got to come off and we'll kind of put that up and mark it off but I'm gonna take just this edge off here leave that little ledge coming out this way to kind of hang it on and maybe even do an overlap up there so may regret that but done lots of things like that so in this back corner looks like we can take this whole weld flange off down to about here all right so that uh, looks like a really stupid plan line where that's at and then we'll leave some overlap there all right bumble okay I think we have a uh, have a sparkly wheel of terror plan I guess next is Cutifying. All right. Let's make some sparks. Well, before we make sparks, I think I'm gonna see if we can do a little bit of a small adjustments back here on the on this corner panel here. So, just uh, just little tickles.
yeah, that's nice. Hey, we're getting close, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue to beat on that, and I think it'll uh, actually move out a little bit uh, a little bit better once we get this uh, order up out of the way. So maybe uh, maybe it is a little bit of time to make some sparks. So we'll do that. All right, well here goes nothing. panel delete option looks like uh, a bunch of cleanup to do in there and then do some fitting and so on wasn't sure why they got that uh, welded in around here but we'll uh, get those spot welds out see what we can uh, see what we can do to clean up nice uh, bunch of stuffage through there so I think now we can straighten this back corner pretty easily now that it's exposed and we'll figure out what uh, what we can and cannot do with that so on to the next all right well I don't feel so bad about uh, the whole original sheet metal thing because uh, this has been replaced on before so somebody put a GM fender on this or a GM quarter panel on this uh, a long time ago and then I think it got sideswiped and, and got uh, the drilled out bondo holes all along there and down the bottom and up at the top and everywhere else so they replaced it but uh, uh, they really didn't straighten any sheet metal before they did so anyways I uh, don't feel so bad about the whole uh, whole original stuff anymore so we will uh, get to trimming and fitting. All right, gonna delete on this gas door opening and we're gonna relocate that anyways and make that a uh, smooth panel. So, um, and do one of, those, uh, one of those other fancy caps or something someplace else. So we'll figure that out later, but right now we're just gonna delete on this, so.
It's all more goo than in plastic than metal. Put that in with caulk. All right, well, that'll delete on that and uh, should be able to fit the other one up around that. I'll take a look when we uh, able to test fit and so on. So now to find some, uh, some spot welds. I'm going to bust this tire off here just because up around that uh, wheel well opening, I've got to find uh, spot welds in there, so a lot easier if that is out of the way. in there and see what we got all right so inside this uh, wheel well opening I'm gonna have to find where the spot welds are where it goes to the uh, goes to the quarter inner up around all of that and then also down along the bottom of the quarter so do some uh, investigation and see if we can find where those spot welds are and see if we can't get this uh, this last few pieces off and, and uh, do some metal straightening. All right, well, well, see if we can separate some of this stuff here. a different way here.
And it was not welded on, that was brazed on. Shiny gold stuff. So, successful deletion there. We'll uh, continue on with the wheel well. All right, here to do a reload on the sparkly wheel of terror wheel. So, like I said, once the uh, horse is dead, you must dismount. So, we'll uh, see if we can find where these welds are at in here. I should probably plug it in. Always works better with uh, electric sickles. Well, that is out. That uh, inner lip of the quarter inner is a tad rusty, so we may have to do some uh, replacing on that. So, but uh, we'll get you in there for a, for a closer look. Well, looks like some bad news um, for this inner wheelhouse. Um, looks like it when they replaced the quarter before they cut through that and then the inside edge of this is completely mangled um, where it was in the accident and tried to straighten it and this backside's a uh, backside's a mess so uh, I think it might be time for an inner fender this is all dented in and looks like somebody beat it out but um, those are only 70 bucks, so I think I'll go ahead and order one of those. Because uh, that's just not going to do. Alright, well, uh, got that inner fender ordered, but um, I'm going to try and straighten out. I mean, this panel here where the gas tank door was mounted, this is not supposed to look like... Uh, uh, watered up tin foil so and then this bottom line is supposed to be straight here this corner is pretty much caved in so got to do some uh, beating on that with a hammer and also if um, you know that inner and outer fender are separated on the bottom so this is the inner fender well is kind of beat up a little bit too so Time to do some hammering work there, and then uh, what we'll do while we while we wait for the um, uh, outer outer inner. That's the inner inner, and that's the outer inner. The outer inner fender. Well, whatever. <laughs> while we wait for that, we'll uh, we'll get to fitting on the uh, on the replacement panel. So when this does come in. Just uh, pop out the spot welds around it and uh, be ready to uh, melt it all in. So, time to get started with some hammering. Let's see if we can take this uh, bottom edge.
right. Well, at least uh, that this bottom is straightened out, and it's a lot more work in the uh, inner fender that's got to be done. But there's got to be some cutting and chopping on the inners, anyways. So um, as we move forward, I'm going to go ahead and make a template for this, uh, this bottom piece here, and also cut this out. Put a uh, put a patch in there so that uh, at least is flat and not smashed and uh, we will uh, take it up from there all right got some updates did uh, get that where that gas tank came through got that patched up and also on the bottom I replaced this piece with that so we've actually got a uh, weld flange when we do put uh, the quarter panel on so um, that was a quite a bit of a struggle and did uh, did beat on that inner fender well like it was a trashy rental car and I punished that thing for a long time trying to straighten out quite a bit of that so I think it's to the point where uh, I can uh, um, get most of it smoothed out and look reasonable so I think we are in pretty good shape there so I think now it's about time to start to start really the fitting process with all of that since we're waiting for that uh, wheel well we'll get it fitted up and ready to go when it uh, does come in we'll zap that on and be uh, be up to speed so should be good by the way, you know, I asked my wife if I was the only one she ever slept with. She said, yeah, the rest were seven and eights. Okay, let's get this uh, quarter panel fitted. Okay, let's drop this thing on there. See how, uh, what kind of disasters we got ourselves into. I left this lip up on the top there just to kind of help hold that in place for now. So uh, throw a screw in back here in the corner just to have an extra hand. One up here. And we'll start uh, working on the alignments and stuff. Okay. All right, there's basically two key features that uh, we want to pay attention to. One uh, in the back here, want to make sure that the uh, tail light will fit because that gives us alignment kind of going both uh, both directions that way and the second and that's kind of why I wanted to have the the doors on here and the line was this feature line make sure that that is lined up with the door and straight and then we can work on uh, door gaps and things like that so um, we'll uh, take a look at both of those let me Clamp this bottom here to 
to my newly formed flange. give us a, uh, a good guesstimate on, on where we're at. So let's take a look at, uh, at both of those. All right, the first of those that's most important, I mean, is getting those body lines to be exactly in line and straight with uh, the door. I think we are actually in pretty good shape. It's a little tough to see. Um, maybe I'll throw just a little bit of primer on the black part in order to uh, help with that and then we can finesse where the door gaps and so on are, you know, folding that over a little bit. And the second part that is kind of critical is throwing the tail lamp in there and I played with that quite a bit in order to try and get you know that gap along the top and the tail lamp in there straight probably gonna have to throw the the uh, tailgate on but it does have a bit of a gap there we can work on that but all the way around the bottom fitting through there pretty good straight up and down and in, in there and across the top so I think we're in pretty good shape remember this uh, corner has like a molding and so on that is supposed to go there we're gonna fill that in with something different but um, I think we're in pretty good shape I'll uh, finesse that a little bit but then what I want to do from there is make some marks on where we need to uh, where we need to cut that top portion. Um, this has got to go, you know, make that uh, make that line here, and then try and get the alignment all along the uh, the top and drop that in. I think I'll slice that and bend this flange down a little bit. So I can slide that on there and then make sure it's getting all the way uh, all the way up in there. So and then also work on, you know, that uh, portion where it's wrapping around the uh, wrapping around the door frame and try and get uh, try and get that worked in there and um, body worked a little bit. So that's uh, where we'll start the fitting process and start doing a little bit of cutting. And then we'll uh, we'll see where we're uh, see where we're at. All right, let's check in with the uh, fitment so far. Got uh, the seam trimmed, and I think that should be good to good to weld. So um, that looks good. And then down here at the body lines, I think that's in pretty good shape. This will tuck in here, so, but along the bottom, I'm gonna weld right to the rocker panel and so on. Um, up along the top, got a uh, flange I can weld to, all through back here. And I did, uh, did go ahead and fill in that uh, gas door, since we won't be using that, and then Let's see, I spent entirely too much time making a little piece to extend around the corner there to replace kind of that uh, beat up one. I beat the snot out of uh, this back corner in order, to, uh, in order to get that straightened back out. And also checking the fitment with uh, the Tail light uh, 
mount that goes in there so we should be in pretty good shape looks like it's going to line up on both sides and so we've got uh, got all of that looking good and one issue though and i'll show you that in a second fits everywhere really well on wheel moldings and so on everywhere except uh, where i tried to fix that uh, that inner panel so we'll take a look at that in a second all right well here's what i was talking about i really didn't realize how damaged this panel was um, instead of going in right here it's actually supposed to come out because when you look at it from that perspective this is the quarter panel and it's got to meet back in that corner and it does not take this jog so um, this uh, panel that I repaired is uh, called a quarter filler panel so guess what we had to order one of those because I just uh, there's no way to get this to come back out this is supposed to actually be out to this flange and then this is straight across and then comes out this portion here comes out to about here and then across so it's uh it's pretty beat up and that's why that uh, bottom of that quarter panel that we took off was kind of flapping in the breeze because nobody replaced that the first time so but at this point i think we can start working on getting that uh this wheel well off when the other one uh drops we can and this part here that filler panel when that one arrives then we can uh, start the rebuild process but for right now let's uh let's tear in and see if we can't get this uh this wheel well off well this is interesting um haven't seen this kind of spot welds before if you take a look it looks like they had tiny little spot welds all along that uh inner wheelhouse only about a half an inch apart all the way around so that'll be uh quite interesting to try and either drill all those out i'm not sure what i want to do there if i want to cut this off and just grind it down i uh, may have to invest in more flappy wheels if i do that so not sure what uh how to attack that yet i'll uh give that a little bit of thought and you can see all the way uh all the way around those spot welds are everywhere so drilling that out is gonna be like Swiss cheese on the inner fender well so uh, we'll mix something up all right well I decided to go at this with the sparkly wheel of terror first and cut this back as close to that flange as I can and then figure out what to do with that flange uh, as we go so I'm gonna get busy slicing on that and that way we can get in there and see if we can pry that apart I don't know those are small there's a ton of those welds in there so but they're little ones so we'll see what uh, see what this does So one area that uh, I'm going to have to make something up, this actually goes in, this wheel well actually goes in behind the rocker. I'm not sure if it's attached there or not, but I uh, have to do some creative cutting and see what we can do. Um, separate those two. You can see where there was the old quarter panel was brazed on, so that's got to be 
cut and chopped, but this flange all the way around. Um, yeah, more brazing there. But uh, you can see this back corner was just uh, beat. This is supposed to be flat, and it's not flat. So um, I'm going to try and separate these kind of one weld at a time with the sparkly wheel, see if that works. If not, we'll, uh, we'll take to grinding on it. So we'll uh, go from there. That was easy. Uh, no. Back here it came off pretty decent. This is just where it must have separated in the accident that it did have and it was just uh, brazed on in a few spots but up uh, from around here all the way around it was uh, the spot welds from Hades so uh, uh, grinding it's about the only way I can get those out so I'm gonna finish cleaning this up and that way um, We'll have a have a surface to to get to, um, and then we we can fit in the fit in the new one. See how that uh, is going to go on. So I'm not going to put that many spot welds in. Yeah, just uh, not going to do it. All right, uh, cleanup time. All right, so here's the scoop on this inner outer, I guess. Um, did manage to get this uh, this corner out. It was uh, spot welded to this little flange here, and then just a couple on the uh, on the rocker there, but came out fairly clean. Got this surface all cleaned up and able to uh, able to weld, I think. So that should be good. And just to show you kind of how much damage that panel and that quarter extension panel I mean it's not even close to uh, fitting on that so while we wait for that oh just uh, by the way I did uh, take this piece off actually sliced this panel here took this chunk off in order to smash out all the uh, foil looking dents so Pulled that off and I'll show you kind of behind it if I can get these off. Gotta be smarter than the vice grips. Okay, or just you know, this uh, panel that goes around here. We'll have just a couple of spot welds holding that on in here. So, um, you know, this is all caved in, so that's why that's smashed back, and this is smashed in. So, this should actually come out to a corner out in here. So, we're waiting for that one. But um, so, up until that point, um, we do have the new outer panels here so it just kind of drops down in that uh, front and then 
should actually attach itself somewhat like that. So that is in much better shape than what we took off, but can't really put that on until we get that uh, quarter extension panel. So um, that's going to hold us up for a little bit, but the on to the next stupid project, um, I think, at this point. Uh, so we'll make this probably a two-parter, but time for some mini tubs. Yeah, I want to put some bigger, uh, bigger wheels and tires on that, so I think that'll be uh, next task. Got an the bedside and that uh, inner to cut and modify because um, we're gonna notch that frame in a little bit um, when we get the chassis all by itself and give us another inch and a half's worth of room to put some uh, probably like 335s underneath there so get some traction in the back so that's gonna be the next uh, next challenge Okay, so here is the plan. Um, I'm going to cut this off along this, uh, this tape line here. Made some semi-parallel marks um, out on the bed. Measured out an inch and a half from this uh, edge here. This is where we'll cut the bed in order to make room to bring this whole wheelhouse in. Um, and one thing I did notice, I mean, these... Um, have kind of a dip in here um, and probably when I put those back on I mean there's some dents in here that I want to be able to uh, hammer out I think I will try and make this straight down um, when it goes back in so some hammer work there but I'm gonna cut this inner portion off first so I'm gonna have to cut like straight in here and then straight down here because along this seam that has random amounts of seam sealer and so on in it, that is where it's spot welded to the inner wheelhouse. So I want to separate those two and be able to move that inner wheelhouse in as well. Move that in first and then because I think this piece may have to come up a little bit in the, in the bed in order to look right because of the angle that this is on so we'll see how all that works out but uh we can get some time in with the sparkly wheel of terror here and do some uh do some slicing well as they say fortune favors the brave i don't know if it's brave or stupid but what the heck
Okay, some success. So now to uh, plan out the cut in the floor and then we'll slice up the uh, inner well as well and go from there. Okay, so I think I know where I want to go with everything. I'm trying to be careful not to get in. I may get into uh, one of the bed braces that runs in there. Um, so we'll cut it out and see. But um, at this point, I'm going to cut the wheel well here. And I'm going to have to cut the uh, floor pan out where it's uh, um, uh, into the... Uh, pan up here and then cut along this edge here so that we know how far we are going in in all those uh, all those little areas just check and make sure we're I think we can keep that uh, inboard of that line a little bit since that uh, little whoop de doo is there so we will uh, go for it Okay, I think we got to get the rest from the uh, from the bottom side. Okay, just gonna try and finish these cuts up. Make sure we get through all of that. Okay, she is out, as I thought. Ran into a little bit of uh, bracing on the bed, but that's no big deal. We'll uh, cut that out of the way. Should have plenty of strength in there. And, um, didn't uh, didn't touch the uh, touch the body mount, which is good. So should be uh, should be in pretty good shape. So I think. We'll uh, get the rest of that cut 
and then uh, put a plan together on putting it back together so all right well I think that's gonna do it for this edition of let's get dirty garage at least uh, part one on uh, the whole quarter panel mini tub so uh, stay tuned for part two when I try and put this mess all back together so hey listen thanks for watching hey hit the subscribe button really appreciate it um, hit the like button and uh, come on back for more so thanks for getting dirty with me today we'll see you next time take care